Hello Darts Nuts, I'm going to do a review of a set of the Target Pyro 90. Uh, these are a soft tip dart, they're a 16 gram dart, they retail for around £70, they're a 90% tungsten, they have uh, pixel grip and nano grip and come in a really quite stylish packaging. Um, I think Pyro is the nickname of this Japanese player, Mitsumasa Oshino, I think that's how you pronounce it. And the darts are inside a little tray which comes out of the box. Uh, inside the box you've got your three Pyro barrels, uh, three pixel tips, soft tips, uh, X3 Pro Grip Vision shafts and the X3 Vision flights. It's uh, very neatly uh, packaged. So there's your Pyro Vision flights and your X3 Target Vision shafts and the darts barrels are inside a, a little if I can get them out of the box oh, underneath inside what's that yeah, little this is what happens when you've got fat fingers ah, there we go so it's all neatly packaged inside you've got the little tag up target uh, product brochure and the uh, guarantee certificate of the weight as usual you get a lifetime barrel guarantee but you have to activate that on the website and it says 16 gram for the weight and then you've got your very nice pyro 90 barrels a little point protector so that's what you get in the box Let's have a close look at the darts. Alright, here's the uh, close look at the Pyro 90 darts. And after I've done this, I'll put the detailed picture up with all the measurements. The darts are fitted with the target pixel grip points. Uh, I think these are quite a new point. There's a little bit of gold nitride on the uh, the thread there which is a nice little touch and the barrels themselves are, are really a very nicely made barrel very intricate design on them it's got a nice little logo on the front section there it's smooth and then you've got a few bands there with the pixel grip and there's a couple of very narrow grooves either side and they're highlighted with the gold nitride like it is on the pixels I don't know how well it shows up on the camera but uh, it's a bit hard to get such a focus on a small image so probably see it better on the pictures that I put up and this grip on the rear of the barrel it's got quite wide bands with really very very fine micro grips I suppose that's the actually it's the nano grip it really is very fine but um, it's hard to describe that grip it's as you can see it's a little bit offset from these very thin protruding rings so when I'm gripping it there with my fingers I can feel the edges of those rings and it's really very nice comfortable there I'd say overall it's probably just a high medium grip maybe only just high medium but it, it does feel quite nice there as you know I'm a front gripper but a lot of the Asian darts seem to be geared up for rear grip and as the barrel is quite short I may be able to get away with throwing it from there 
but it is very comfortable there and these little protruding rings they've given you something to hold on to so I'm not so much sure how the nano grip is working there because although I can feel it with my nail when I'm putting my fingers on it I'm really just feeling the edges of the very fine rings that are sticking up in between well, it's a really very nicely machined down uh, and then you've got the target vision shafts and the target vision flights carrying on with the pyro theme there so I'll let you look at the darts and then I'll put the detail picture up Here's the detailed picture. Here's the detailed look at the darts. It's got a 25 millimeter point. The front section of the barrel is slightly tapered to the nose. That's about 12.55 millimeters wide. And then you go into a section of about 8.5 millimeters, which starts with these very fine grooves. And it's got nitride coating in, in them and a very fine ring. And then there's three rings of pixel grip. And then you've got uh, another couple of fine grooves and a fine ring in between and then a slightly wider ring and then you go into the rear section of the barrel which is about 9.5 millimeters and it's made up of these bands of nano grip in between there's very thin knife edge style rings which slightly protrude above the nano grip then there's a ring which is smooth of about one millimeter then there's a 3.2 millimeter nano grip band and then the rear section of the barrel is made up of this single fine ring and two smaller rings of uh, pixel grip and then a small section at the rear of the barrel that's in total about four millimeters the overall length is 39 millimeters and the width is 7.75 millimeters right I'm just going to measure the barrels without the points attached as you can see it's only a short barrel uh it says 39 mil 39.03 and the widest section looks to be on that uh, section with the pixel grip that says I can see that that says 7.75 and the rear section tapers towards the end uh, 6.55 uh, 6.09 and the front of the barrel 5.96 right I'm going to wear the barrels with no points attached that's 16.09 16.07 and 16.07 and the weight with the full setup is 17.93 all right I'll check the balance first with nothing attached it's gonna be front weighted so with no points or anything attached it's definitely front weighted um, still going to be front weighted with the point on I should imagine just moves a little bit so still a front weight and then I guess it's going to be around the pixel grip with the supplied setup It's a little bit further back than I thought it was going to be. So it moves a little bit towards the rear. I'd say it's just past centre with the supplied setup. So there's the detailed look at the Pyro 90. Um, 
only a short barrel but a lot of the uh, soft tip darts tend to be like that for the Asian styles it's a fantastic looking dart though where you see the the detail in the grip close up it's it's really very very nicely machined so let's give him a throw and see how we do I'm just holding the dart on that uh, wide section with the pixel grip on. It's quite nicely balanced for me. It's only a short barrel, so holding it there is just about right for me. But it looks as if the dart is more geared for a rear grip. But uh, I'll give it a few more throws from there, then I'll, I'll have a throw holding it on the this grippy section at the rear but uh, it does feel like a very zippy dart that's only uh, 16 gram but it seems to be zipping through the air I'll just have a throw from that rear section just to see what happens. Um, it's not my natural throw holding it that part of the barrel but because it's only a short barrel it, it shouldn't be uh, too far away from my normal grip which would be there so give it a go see what happens. I think I pressed that red button twice there. It's pretty good there actually. If it was my natural grip I think it would be flying even better. Give it another go. That's uh quite comfortable actually once so get used to throwing it from there obviously a lot of the Asian players do seem to grip on the rear and you're thrown through the the weight of the dart so for me I think it tends to make the dart rise up a little bit more which I don't know if it if it's better with such a light dart but it does seem to make it fly a bit better. It just uh, takes a bit of getting used to when it's not your natural grip. Yeah, it's quite 
quite impressed with the way it flies from there. Obviously I'll have to practice with it more to get the yang of it better but uh, I'll just go back to my normal grip for now. Yeah, I like the uh, feel of these darts. Uh, it's not overly aggressive, the grip. It's just got enough grip so you can feel like the edges of it. Um, the nano grip, um, I'm not sure if I can feel that. I think it's more the edges of uh, these like little knife edge rings that are protruding out. I can feel them and I can feel the... Uh, the pixel grip to a certain extent but uh, I think it's more the bits in between the nano grip that I can feel but overall it's a very uh, comfy dart to grip not too aggressive just about right for me There you go, that's the uh, Target Pyro 16 gram soft tip darts. It's a really nice dart, very nicely machined. And it's got a great grip, and I do think it's probably more suited for a rear grip. Although it wasn't too bad with me gripping it on that pixel section, which is near the middle of the barrel, but. Uh, I think if you're a natural rear gripper you'll probably uh, find that the darts fly very nicely. Um, I'm probably going to practice a little bit more holding it at the rear just to see what happens and uh, I'll uh, report in my review on the forum. But uh, it's quite a nice dart actually. They are only a short barrel so they do tend to work better for me than a longer barrel would with the rear grips. Uh, and they fly like little bullets really, very zippy. So there you go, that's the end of the review, thanks for watching.